ladies and gentlemen, this week we're talking about Dame 4 versus Curry 4. Two signature shoes for very good players. Both of them have already their fourth signature shoe. So let's get straight to the point and start with upper materials. Dame Force. The upper is made from textile mesh. The mesh is like really soft in a good way. One piece upper, really comfortable. It has neoprene color. It offers great comfort, stability and lockdown. So yeah, the upper is light, comfortable and soft in a good way. So let's move down to the midsole and cushioning. So Dame 4 for cushioning uses full length bounce and this setup is really enjoyable. It's quite a lot of bounce you could say, as much as bounce comes for example. Bounce Edition Volume 1 has almost a half of this bounce. So yeah, pretty good cushioning system, not as soft as some of Adidas shoes with boost, but court feel is on point and as well heel to toe transition is great as well. And now let's speak about traction. And the traction on these shoes are pretty good, at least for me. I have heard on internet that a lot of people don't like how the traction pattern is working here but wasn't an issue for me as well actually on not that clean floors it was performing pretty good okay i admit it's not the best gripping shoe but yeah still works that's in couple of words about dame 4 let's move on to the Kyrie 4 so upper materials Kyrie 4 upper has mesh in front and synthetic suede in back it has flywear as well for extra lockdown looks like and feels a bit like old school shoe but that's good should be durable it's pretty comfortable i can say it needs a bit to wear in as with dames you can go straight away to the gym no wear in time there but this should need a bit of wear in time but let's move down to the cushioning and this year the Kyrie shoes actually have full length cushioning and that's awesome because previously they was pretty aggressive have to admit that so we have full length cushion on here and a small zoom unit in the heel as well for that extra impact protection this is definitely the most cushioned Kyrie shoe so far and that's a good thing because once again more players will be able to play with this shoe heel to toe transition is on point really great as well court feel is good no problems there and that traction the reviews on the traction isn't that good as the Kyrie 3 and Kyrie 2 were but still the traction pattern gets the job done at least for me had no issues i was stopping on the dime with no problem once again they have these like teats up here and the traction goes a bit up to the side of the shoe which helps you to get that grip even faster and that's a really cool feature so the final verdict of the shoes if you have a wide foot dame 4 will be a better shoe because it is feelable wider in the front part as the Kyries as always are really snug. Dame 4 is as well a bit more comfortable I could say it's softer up here so that's a plus here but the support is a bit more here you could say. Kyrie falls could be a bit more stable. The Dame 4 is lighter and but the Kyrie has a bit better court feel I could say. Some people are saying that the impact protection and cushioning here is even better than the Dame 4's but I would not agree. For me I think cushion wise both shoes performs really similar. It's not the softest shoe but you still get court feel and low to the ground feeling what is good great shoes for the guards i would actually say day four has more cushioning than the Kyrie four has but the difference is minimal so yeah guys which ones would you pick Kyrie four or dame four dame dollar against uncle drew so that's about it in the short review thank you guys for watching see you soon bye bye i'm out